Hey friends, I was just thinking of the topic of the work that God planned beforehand for you to do. And it's making all the stuff that I've been working on the past quarter or past few months make sense to me. So I'll take you all the way back to college. I'm in my 30s, but back in college, I remember going to school and not knowing exactly what I wanted to do. I remember that most of my friends were planning on going to medical school or law school. I just didn't know what I was supposed to be doing. And my first thought was to just do whatever seemed safe or do whatever was the popular thing to be doing. And there's always this joke that as a Nigerian child, your options are to be a doctor, an engineer, a lawyer, a pharmacist, and then there are a sprinkling of other acceptable career paths. And I just didn't have a real appeal for any of those things i considered going to law school but at the end of the day i was like ah, i don't want to do that so i eventually settled into a few different lanes that just kind of naturally started happening that just appealed to the different ways that i was wired this is why i'm talking about this when the bible talks about how there is work that god prepared beforehand for you to do the preparation that we're talking about means that God is talking about your wiring. Before the beginning of the world, before you were formed in your mother's womb, God had a thing that had your name on it. He had a, a cause that you would be passionate about, a project that you would be assigned to, a job, a work environment that had your name on it. And so sometimes when we are trying to do whatever we think is deemed as successful in the world, we betray ourselves actually we betray what actually makes our heart thump and come alive we are like oh no that's not safe that's not the right thing to do god cares about artistry just as much as he does medicine god cares about all sorts of things um, and so we keep putting a value on certain types of career paths because we're like, oh, those are the things that pay the most. Those are the things that have the much, most prestige. But think about the fact that God himself is a creator. So creative ways of living are also viable things to do as a career path. So if you are a, if you are a creative, if you are someone who is doing ministry, those things have equal weight in the kingdom of God. And our society has given value because of salaries. Some salaries are way higher. And so we can tell that our society values things more than others, but God doesn't value us in that way. And so if there is something on the inside of you that has been like, ooh, I really wanna do this thing, but you've been saying, no, 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 that's not safe. It's not an acceptable career path. I want you to just tell yourself, the thing that God prepared beforehand for you to do is a thing that you are wired to do. It is your zone of genius. And once you tap into that zone of genius, that's when you do the most good. And so I've seen that when people decided to lean into their God-given talent, that's when they find the most success. So I have been thinking a lot about that because my mom and I are actually launching a coaching and consulting program really based on this premise that everyone has a career path or a life path that they are meant to be on. And sometimes in adulting, we have like I said, betrayed ourselves and decided to go with something that was safer or something that was all we knew. But at some point, we need to pivot into this new thing that God has for us. And so I'm here to be of help to you because I have pivoted many, many times. Um, so I went to school, like I said, undeclared. I stumbled into communications and then I stumbled into the classroom as a teacher. Then I stumbled into public diplomacy for my master's degrees. Um, I studied two different master's, master's uh, degrees because I just didn't know what I wanted to do. And I was like, oh, let me explore. And then I, um, I pivoted into human resources. So I've been all over the place. And now that I work in human resources, I'm seeing that like, oh, it's not a matter of who's smart and who's not. It's like, are you placed in the right place? Are you on the right path? And some of us are not because we've done the safe thing or we've done the conventional thing. And now it's time for you to get back on the right path. And I'm here to help. And my mom and I have started this company called The Pivot Strategist. And that's literally what we do. So I am on the HR side and I work on getting you in the wrong, in the right job path and helping you pivot successfully in the workplace. And then my mom is in the life coaching heart and soul piece where she can help coach you and your mindset and your habits and all those things. So I think together we make a really good team. But this is something that has set my heart on blaze 
for the longest time. I think that God is in this season where he's like, I have stuff to do. I need projects to be done. And there are people who are assigned to those projects that are in the wrong spots. And so this is a time for God to shift those people. And I really feel like for me, this is my assignment. And my assignment is to help pivot people, help usher them into the right life path for them. There isn't a right and wrong, um, like the world would think of it. It's the right and wrong thing, according to what you have been hearing from God, what you've been feeling in your spirit. I think, you know, if you're in the wrong path, I felt it many times in my life where I forced and said, okay, this is something I wanted to do. When the grace lifted for, um, from previous seasons that I just was making do, I felt it. I felt the shift like, ooh, something needs to change. If you've been feeling that, ooh, something needs to change, you are probably going to want to pivot into something different. You don't have to pivot without help. We're here to help with the pivot strategies. We have lots and lots of tools. I'll leave some links below so you can check us out. Um, but really, this is the season. God is shifting and moving and pivoting, and I love it. I'm here to help, and I want to help be your strategist. I'm just letting you know what I'm doing in my life right now. I've been doing my own pivots and it's just, it's a glorious thing. Okay, last thing I'll say. If you're wondering like, oh, am I someone who needs to pivot? This is how I explain the need for a pivot. This is how you feel it. If you need to have a pivot, every day in your life will feel like this. It will feel like putting your foot in the wrong shoe putting your foot in the wrong shoe. So whether that is like, oh my, it's my left foot and it's in the right shoe, like the right side of my foot and it's not quite the right fit. It almost fits right, but something's a little awkward about the way I'm walking. Or is it a totally wrong shoe completely? Um, I'm over here wearing a stiletto where I know I probably need to be wearing some Converse's. So some of us are forcing ourselves to fit into this very specific mold that has nothing to do with what we were created to do and that's why it's feeling forced to you because it's not in your natural alignment once you get aligned once you pivot into the right place oh it's gonna feel like butter and so let's discover what that is let's figure it out um that's the journey that god takes us on he lets us go our own way that's the beautiful thing um when i was talking to the lord about my own path and where i was going to be the holy spirit was so kind and he said there is an end place that i want you to get to there's an end destination I want you to get to in your life and in your career, but you can choose the pathway that takes you there. So there's typically not just like one job that you're supposed to have. There are multiple pathways. It's really good to know what the end destination is. What is your calling in general? And then start from there and start taking steps to lead you on the type of pathway that could get you to where you're going to end up in the end of the day. Okay, that's all I wanted to share. I love you guys. I'm praying for you all. I'm praying that God would help position you to where you're supposed to be. There are people who are waiting for you to get positioned. There are people who are waiting for you to get aligned. So not only am I rooting for you, but they're rooting for you too because they're waiting for you to show up. So just keep holding on. Have courage. If you need to have a conversation with me, let me know. I have discovery calls that are available and Timina and I, my mom, <laughs> we're the pivot strategists and we're here to help. Okay, take care. Bye.